If you are looking for some of the very best plug and play tactics for FM23, you have come to the right place. Whether you're just short of time or you're looking for a complete overhaul of your tactical system, here on the channel I'm going to test the tactics so you don't have to. In today's video I'm going to be looking at a positive 4231. The subject of today's tactic testing video is going to be the 4231 Joker. It's set out in a traditional 4231 shape. So let's break down some of the positions that come with this tactic. Starting at the back, you're going to have a sweeper keeper who is set to defend. You've got a wing back on the left hand side set to attack. Two central defenders set to defend. And on the right hand side, another wing back set to attack. You have a ball winning midfielder set to support, a deep line playmaker set to support, on the left hand side an inverted winger set to attack, an attacking midfielder set to support and on the right hand side an inverted winger set to attack and finally at the top of the pitch you're going to have an advanced forward who is set to attack. So as I said, set out in a traditional 4-2-3-1 shape, its tactical style is YG Joker, its mentality is positive. If we look at its in possession, it will look like this. Its in transition will look like this. Its out of possession will look like this. So that's the tactics and the positions. I'm going to put it through its paces with a single season sim and I've used Crystal Palace, Torino and Atletico Bilbao. We're going to kick the results off in the Premier League. That means we are looking for Crystal Palace and we find them in 14th place. If we break down their campaign, they played 38 games. They won 13. They drew 8. Lost 17. Scored 68. Conceded 83 and they finished on a minus 15 goal difference with 47 points. That put them 10 points behind Tottenham who qualified for the Conference League and 14 points behind Wolves who qualified for the Europa League. If we go to the profile page we can see Mateta got himself 24 goals. Average rating wise they had Zaha with 7.17. For assists Elise got 12. Player of the match awards that is Mateta with 5. Clean sheets, as you would expect, Gaeta doesn't score too greatly, only getting four throughout the season down in joint 19th place. Yellow cards, Decore got himself 13. Nathaniel Klein got 15.23 kilometres covered per 90 minutes. Tackles per 90 minutes, didn't have anybody inside the top 20. Dribbles per 90 minutes, they had Tariq Mitchell getting 3.88 in 90 minutes. So to kick us off, we have Crystal Palace down in 14th. Let's check the competitions for the rest of them. Uh, FA Cup, they finished in the fourth round. They were knocked out by Charlton. In the Carabao Cup, they were knocked out in the fourth round by Newcastle United. Next, we move to Italy. We are looking at Serie A and we find Torino in 11th place. Breaking their campaign down, they played 38. They won 13. They drew 6. They lost 19. Scored 63, conceded 67, they finished on minus 4 as a goal difference and they finished on 45 points. That left them 14 points behind Fiorentina who qualified for the Conference League and 24 points behind Juventus who qualified for the Europa League. Looking at the profile page, they had Pellegri get 19 goals. In terms of average ratings, they had nobody inside the top 20. For assists, they had Vlasic with 9 and Miranchuk with 7. Player of the Match Awards, they had Pellegri with four. Clean sheets of the goalkeepers, they had Milinkovic-Savic on seven. Yellow cards, no discipline issues for Torino. Vojvoda got himself 14.99 kilometres covered per 90 minutes. Tackles per 90 minutes, Radonic with 3.36. And in the dribbles per 90 minutes, they had Singo with 3.87. So an 11th place finish in Serie A. Let's look at the other competition that they played in. It's the Coppa Italia. And they were knocked out in the third round by Fiorentina. Finally, we are off to Spain. We are looking at La Liga. And we find Bilbao in 9th place. If we break down their campaign, they've played 38. They won 16. They drew 7. They lost 15. Scored 53. Conceded 49. 
gave them a four goal difference and they finished on 55 points. That was 11 behind Valencia who qualified for the Conference League and 16 points behind Sociedad and Seville who qualified for the Europa League. Go to the profile page, we can see that Iñaki Williams got himself 19 goals. Average ratings, they didn't have anybody inside the top 20. For assists, they had Nico Williams with eight and Manayan with seven. In Player of the Match awards, we had Nico Williams getting himself seven. In the clean sheets, Simon got himself 14. Yellow cards, Ander Herrera shows up with 12. Distance covered per 90 minutes, nobody in that category. Tackles per 90 minutes, nobody in the top 20 there. And in terms of dribbles per 90 minutes, they have Kappa with 3.71. So we finish off with Bilbao in ninth place. Let's look at the other competition that they played in. So they played in the Copa del Rey and they were knocked out in the third round by Vallecano. So that leaves them with a ninth place finish. We have had some mid-table finishes for all of the teams that we have tested with today's tactic. Right then, if you are with me at this point of the video, firstly, a big thank you. Secondly, if you have not hit the like and subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Do it, please. The support on the channel has been fantastic across the past couple of months. Really cannot thank you all enough. Before you go, don't forget we have other things on the channel. There are other tactic testers, including non-league. There are Wonder Kids. Hints, tips, tutorials, let's play, rebuilds, those kinds of things too. But for this one, I'm going to leave it there. A big thank you for watching. I'll see you on another video soon.